is what they had already put out to the public. There's no more printing. How you going to hustle backwards now? All y'all have to do is scroll down to all the comments, what you see after that video. Just what we thought. A right. thug. Right. He went from a promising young and man. And notice how they put the, the, the pictures out there in steel photos first. So steel photos show you like this. And then they show one like this. <laughs> so it looked like that's a heavy right man from, now this boy looking like a giant. And that, I thought that was Winston in the story. <laughs> And they show him off his feet in the steel, so it looked like he got him up in the air like this, taking his merchandise. Right, strong arm. <laughs> and you come down here for TV time and ain't prepped our people for the dirt that they gonna use on us. Like I say, the way they made it look, you know, you, you, you hear the Gentiles, because you know, I tell people all the time, listen to AM radio, listen to what they got to say. Turn off the rap music and listen to what they're saying, because they tell it at all. And they all, people were calling in and saying, he was so promising, he was so this, he was so that, he just graduated, he just was supposed to start college, and he went from, like I said, a promising young man of what they want to abide by their rules, to now he's just a common thug and a thief, and he deserved what he got. You see how the media is spinning. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The truth is, the little brother was supposed to start battle right last month. That's the truth, you know what I'm saying? We all grew up in neighborhoods, you hang with brothers. He wasn't nobody out there putting no work in. That's right. right. Really, brothers, you grow up big cousins and right. they bloods or something. You ain't doing a blood sign or something. You feel me? So what they doing is assassinating character. It's a, exactly. it's a right. tactic of the FBI and the CIA. Oh, when they kill you, they assassinate your character. You feel me? Then you come in, they roll the cameras where everybody loses. And then when they put the boots to you, they justify it. That's right. That's right. All they do is playing on propaganda. That's what's happening. But look how we ain't learned to deal with the craftiness yet. No. So we don't understand wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. What that means? You got to be wise. Like you got to be thinking ahead of them. That's why they gave Johnny Cochran the poise and power. Yes, indeed. How you gonna be who you are, Johnny Cochran, and all of a sudden brain tumors the size of a kickball? And he did. Why? Because he knew how to bring their doctrine to them and tell them, this is how you're not going to get over on this people. They said, we got to get rid of him. Yep. He must go. Y'all the same roots. Give him the power that we get Negroes when they can't work no more. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah 30, verse 15. Uh -huh. Why Christ died for thine afflicts? What did he say? Why Christ died? With thine flicks. When me and this brother talk, we talk about, man, how you doing today? When we talk to all these brothers, we talk about how y'all doing. I ain't complaining. Mm -hmm. Look, if the next word that I have your mouth is, the Lord is about to enter into judgment. I got more things to be worried about mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. complaining about my funeral time. Mm -hmm. I've been getting the red thing from you, man. Mm -hmm. Lord, Lord asked the question right here. Go ahead, bro. Why are we crying for the affliction we're going through? Right. That's what he asked. Even though he's going to destroy every word you've been sent and redeem you, you still got to go through your punch. That's right. So we're saying now when the affliction is on, what you're crying for. Yeah. It's about this. Why Christ thou for thine affliction? Yes, sir. Your sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. For the multitude of what? Thine or your iniquity. Right. Because your sins were increased. I, I have done these things under you. See, no matter what they do to us, if we don't be accountable for what we do, it's going to always be this issue. Look at the craftiness of, of this channel. Okay, we're going to give them somebody <laughs> to look like. But I guarantee you, they don't want leave us talking about this people. It's going to be soul training line right after that. I saw a carnival cart going out of this What the hell has that got to do with this? What the hell has that got to do with this? Look, brother, sir, hearing people talk about they brought a lawn chair and they coolers for entertainment. I'm talking about like they out in Twilight Tuesday. Yep. Verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. That's hope, y'all. That's 
something we can trust in. It's going to go down. Go ahead, brother. And all thine adversaries, every one of them. No, just the police and flaws. Every one of them. Just out in home county. Uh-uh. Every one of them. Just the crips and bloods <laughs> down on Coke Bridge. Every uh -uh. one of them. Just these TV hounds and hustlers coming here to make money. Every <laughs> one of them. Go ahead, brother. Shall go. Shall go. Into captivity, uh -huh. and they that spoil thee oh. shall be a spoil. Right. Right. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Right. Right. Seventeen. For I will restore health unto thee. What the Most High said He gonna do? I will restore health unto thee. So who the doctor we need to be talking to? Mm -hmm. Doctor God. Go ahead, brother. And I will heal thee of thy wounds. See, the Most High didn't say he was going to give you a 12 step program. Or you're going to have to keep coming back for medicine every now and then. He said, heal thee. <laughs> Y'all heal and got no program with him. You fixed. Go ahead. Say to the Lord, because they call thee an outcast. What they call us? An Outcasts. Niggas. You know what they say. Mm -hmm. Say, this is Zion. You know, see how they say that this is Zion. You don't have to be kidding me. No. Y'all was down in the Tennessee area last week and they had a paper called The World, but it had a different name. Busted. <laughs> Guess who was all across the front? <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. This is Zion. Who no man seeketh out. Look, no man seeketh out. There ain't nobody for our real cause. You know what the problem is? When we start to get other nations that become compassionate, and it's going to be some nations that feel like that because they know our God. They have seen his wrath and they believe in his word. Yo, that understanding with some of them, and then they start coming amongst us. Then they have to be careful that they don't kill their own. But they have to create something that makes those of other nations look at us and shake their head and say, This is how we tried to help. But the display we saw down there, hanging out of windows, horns blowing, and rap music burning, what the hell has that got to do with the tumult that we face? Now, go ahead, brother. Verse 18. Uh, the Savior, how God, uh -huh. yo. I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tent uh -huh. and have mercy on his dwelling place. What are you going to have mercy at? On his dwelling place. Look, y'all, if we are true Jacob, if we are following our king's commandments, then he will have mercy on our dwelling place. That's mm -hmm. right. But we got to be doing that first. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, uh -huh. and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. Uh -huh. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as a time, uh -huh. and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish and I will punish all that oppress them. Yo, either you believe that or that's just ink on paper. Y'all think we can force that? Mm. Yo, we tried to force that these last couple days and we see what happened. Mm. When you force that without the rallying of the camp together because you got so many different spirits mixing up in a bottle and they shaking up like this and you're going to fall out into what's called rioting and looting. Because it's almost automatic. Yes, the pain is there, y'all. When we witness this in broad daylight, it takes us back 400 years. Right to the day so we don't never forget Deuteronomy 28. Y'all yeah, right here is a book called 100 Years of Lynchings by Ralph Ginsburg, newspaper articles from the late 1800s to the 1960s of brothers being lynched and nobody being convicted of the crime of lynching in the United States of America. That's right. So it's never stopped. Right. It's never stopped. I need to look that book up right there. Very interesting. Newspaper 
water was over 100 years. Ralph Ginsburg, G-I-N-Z, Bird. Ralph Ginsburg, 100 years of lynching. We get right. Verse 21. Uh -huh. Turn about 30, verse 21. And their noble shall be of themselves. Uh -huh. mm. And their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engages his heart to approach unto me? saith the Lord, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Uh -huh. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the witch. Uh -huh. The first anger of the Lord shall not return until he hath done it, until he hath performed the intent of his heart in the last day. In the what day? In the last day. Right. Ye shall consider it. So y'all, we have to look at what's mm. on the last days and consider these things when he says this generation shall not pass. Mm. Like God said, there's always been earthquakes. Mm. There's always been this. But what we are doing now is when the most high say every eye shall see him coming. That was a hundred years ago. Right. That was fifty years ago. But right now, you can take a cell phone to the jungles of wherever. Y'all know when they just still wearing a loin cloth. And you can see what's going on in the world. Not only will you not see it there, but you're going to see holograms in the sky with what they are setting up with Project Blue Bean. So it's going to be a point that where it ain't going to be a point. We know that that's this generation. And how a hundred years ago, would, would they have been able to number every man, woman, and child who needs to buy or sell? Mm. That wasn't a hundred years ago. That wasn't fifty years ago. That's right as now. Exactly. And understand these things. Y'all know all of our children are on Facebook. You know what signs and fingers they throwing up? Mm -hmm. How do you not prepare? Or how are these leaders coming here and ask them, of course, I need to see his Facebook page right. before we go before the world. Right. Right. Who got his Facebook page? Yeah, you know Give me know. all of his best friends. I'm talking about the ones he hang around with. We got hard questions. We don't ask them up front. Not when the FBI come in and then things are revealed. Right. You got to ask these questions or you behind the eight ball with this champion of justifying murder. How you gonna come in there with this kindergarten stuff? Go ahead, bro. Uh, Y'all just write this down. I'm gonna read these couple of verses real quick. Uh, Leviticus chapter 26. This is the second witness that came up twice while I'm sitting here from both of them. So I'm gonna get this in real quick. Leviticus chapter 26. I'm gonna read verses 36 through 42. It says, and upon them that are left alive, alive of you, I will send a faintness into their hearts in the land of their enemies. And the sound of a shaking leaf shall chase them, and they shall flee, and fleeing from a sword, as fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when none pursue it, and they shall fall upon one another as it were before a sword when none pursue it, and ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies, and ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands. And also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. Mm. If they shall confess. What they should do? If they shall confess right. their iniquity uh -huh. and the iniquity of their fathers. Y'all see that it's twofold. Yo, we got to first explain why we here, why we in this suffering condition. How you gonna start with the knife already in? Mm -hmm. You gotta tell what caused the knife to be plunged in us, to break us down to this point, so to speak. But it's not, I shouldn't use that term, a knife in us or the chastisement of the Holy One, because the knife can go back into the sea. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about is, is, is after the fact. You gonna trust somebody that's put the knife in, and all they're doing is keep easing it out. And you tell them, don't pull it all the way out. 
Remember, I want to be a Gentile too. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Forty again. If they shall say? confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers, uh -huh. with their trespass which they have trespassed against me, right, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, right. And that I also have walked contrary unto them mm. and have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts mm. be humble, be what? Be humble, right? And they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. Right. Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac. And also my covenant with Abraham will I remember. And I remember I will remember the land. Go down to 45, bro. Yeah. 43. The land also shall be left of them and shall enjoy her Sabbaths, while she lieth desolate without them. Mm. And they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity, because even because they despise my judgments, and because their soul abhorred my statutes. What does soul do? Abhor my statutes. Look, our soul abhorred my statutes. Man, I don't want to hear nothing about that Bible right now. They're killing us. Man. Don't want to hear about that right now. We got to get it together. What kind of weapons you got at home? And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will, when they be in the land of their enemies, right. I will not cast them away. Neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly oh. and to break my covenant with them. Mm. For I am the Lord their God. But I will, for their sakes, remember the covenant of their ancestors, mm. whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel mm. in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. See, look, yeah. God, we remember our ancestors, but what we are, are we remembering from? We just talking about the first ancestor, the guy that's Ruri and Whoop. We start naming Ruri and Whoop and first in this nation. But we still ain't told about what our ancestors did. We ain't explained why the, our fathers have sinned, but yet our teeth on age. Mm -hmm. They don't know about this because our leaders ain't telling our people this the reason we in this condition. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 30 and 8 now before we hit that. Isaiah 30 and 8. You see also that with these verses here is that, you know, we know what we believe. We know what, yeah. what we are trying to do. We know that we are striving to keep this what he said. And I, I, know, I use this to tell people that by us knowing this, that we must do this. We not just read these words. We must re go back to the Most High and ask him. To remember that covenant with us because we as a people ain't together but although we know what we doing we need him to remember that covenant with us and we must live by that covenant that's our right. protection that's right when we talk about our angels we talk about kings and queens of heaven like that that's right y'all look that's when they're talking about remember the angels we need to be talking about adam before he failed and what he did after he got himself righteous because he was allowed to live 930 years. That's right. 70 off the mark. So he must have got himself together. But y'all, you know, there's a punishment for that. And then the covenant made with Abraham to read or to correct our transgressions, to set it in motion. If we don't remember where the covenant starts, we got some problems. The covenant can't keep going back to the first Negro that was lynched. <laughs> because we ain't cleared up our drama yet. That's right. That's right. Where we at, bro? I said 30 and 8. Just give me that 30 and 8 15. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. And then we're going to hit this little 13, y'all. We're going to hit these Exodus and that Ezekiel 5, y'all. And then we're going to get on our topic in hand. It's the image of y'all. Y'all verses after its coming. Some very important things, y'all, we need to understand behind that. 
Because one's going to have you worshiping the Creator and the other one's going to have you worshiping the creature if you ain't careful. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. What does that? Now go, write it before them in a table. See, the Most High ain't never done nothing with his prophecy. He's always going to write it down. Jeremiah 25 tell us, you know, look, if you have heard a prophecy from the Lord, write it down. You say the Lord spoke to me, write it down. Yeah. If you say in a dream last night, because we know Joel 3 and, and, and Acts 2 say that your children shall prophesy. You're, they're going to bring dreams and have visions. So these visions are supernatural visions about the future. Write those visions down so that we can call it back on you and make sure you ain't a false prophet among Israel. If the Lord has spoken to you, the rules are write it down. Yeah, the Lord can speak to all of us. Eating that Italian spices late at night will speak to you. <laughs> you go to bed on some spaghetti and sauce up meatballs. <laughs> it's going to be trouble. Go ahead, bro. And note it in a book. And do what? Note it in a book. Yo, it has to be noted in a book. Go ahead. That it may be before the time to come. Forever and ever. See, before the time comes that you can be established, you know, of your, or you are a prophet of the law. Because it's going to explain itself before it happens. You know, we've been hitting the streets. Brothers been hitting the streets warning them what was coming. Why does it seem like a shock? Why does it look like we ain't doing What we're going to do but go out there and say the same thing we've been saying every Sabbath day for the last couple of years. What are we going to do this? What are we going to do there? If we ain't ran up to Ferguson front door then, do you expect us to do it now? No, we doing what the script tells us to do. Hit the corners. Warn the people. Warn the people. What's coming their way? Go ahead, bro. That this is a rebellious people. What kind of people? Rebellious people. Lying children. What kind of children? Lying children. Uh -huh. Children that will not hear the Lord, the law of the Lord. See, it's a difference on what you're hearing. If you hear the law of the Lord, then you won't allow nobody to come in and point fingers at somebody else and we don't have our dirtiness out front so we can be judged accordingly. This don't mean what they did is an excuse. No, right. it has nothing to do with the other, but what they are doing is showing us our dirty laundry that we would hide. How you gonna do it? Go ahead, bro. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not uh -huh. unto us right things. What things? Prophesy not unto us right things. Look, when we talk about prophesying not to us right things, there's a way the Most High tells us to deal with a situation like this. Okay. If we're talking about it's coming from the Lord. Now, if you're talking about this the way we handle it in the streets, we understand that. But I can't be a part of street at this point. Can we see what the law tells us how to approach this situation we're going through? Yeah. And then I'm with you, bro. But just out of control? <laughs> Look, you come to raise your voice and you got a pool in the back with Coke 45 chilling. Go <laughs> bring your lawn chair out there. I don't know. Man, y'all seen Facebook. Y'all seen what it's like. Go ahead, bro. Speak unto us smooth things. See, y'all, what I want y'all to do is get a mindset on when Moses went up to the mountain to talk to the law. And the most high heard the cry of Israel in the camp. Be like I hear the children all said, oh yeah. They know you got after what you did to Egypt. They are chanting your name. The Lord said, no, they ain't. <laughs> that ain't the war cry of Israel and my commandments obeyed. That's the cry of the nations. And y'all, that's what you heard. You heard partying going on. This ain't party time. Party time means there has to be something that make you merry. Why do you think that look you running through a liquor store with 30 packs? <laughs> After the 30 packs are consumed, what you gonna do then? Face is covered up. Forgive me, my Mr. Now I'm hyped. I done looted my carriage. Y'all can't play them games with 
with ourselves is a tragedy. Yeah. And what he done to that boy, that's going to be asked. That's yes, right. it will. Psalms 109. It will be, <laughs> it will be asked. Go ahead, bro. Prophesy the seat. Prophesy what? The seat. Look, when Al Charlatan come here. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> With the same old techniques. Brothers out there with chains and hooping and hollering. Who was that? Who was the Chinese. Hey, I see no boy with the chain. Look, you are so on her. Y'all see that dude out there? With the chain? That's 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 African man. African Chinese. That's that that your brother in law. <laughs> Wherefore, thus says the Holy One of Israel, 
because ye despise this word and trust in the oppression and perverseness and stay thereof. See, we trust in oppression and perversion. Look, there's a system that you're complaining about that you want to go away. But when they say, here is somebody just like you saying they're going to, and you.